Plato, Aristotle, Confucius, Kafka? Those are some pretty heavy books for a comedy show, Steve. What's up? Not to worry. I'm just checking if anyone was ever a better philosopher than today's legendary comedian. Is that what's bothering you, Bunky? That voice belongs to Eddie Lawrence, but most of the comedy world knows him better as the old philosopher who captivated comedy fans back in the 1950s with a routine that combined witty wordplay and sad sack music into an indelible routine. But let's start with the basics. Born Lawrence Eisler in 1919, Eddie first became known fresh out of high school as a comic who performed whimsical and eccentric free verse riddled with one-liners. He carved out a niche on the Catskills comedy circuit while paying the rent with bit parts and live television shows. By the mid-1950s, Eddie had perfected the routine that would bring him lasting fame. The 1956 single, The Old Philosopher, established the formula. A downtrodden narrator leads the listener through a series of increasingly improbable calamities underscored by mournful music until a spectacular turnabout inevitably occurs. It's impossible to adequately describe, so let's take a listen. You see your furniture's out all over the sidewalk because you can't pay the rent and you got chap lips and paper cuts and your feet's all swollen up and blistered from pounding the pavement looking for work. Is that what's troubling you, fella? Lift your head up high and take a walk in the sun with a dignity and stick to it and you show the world, you show the world to get off. you never give up, never give up, never give up. That ship... The single was like nothing else on the radio, and it made the Billboard Top 40, a rare feat for a comedy record. From then on, Eddie would release full-length albums mixing old philosopher routines with eccentric comedy sketches. Here's a cut from his first LP, The Garden of Eddie Lawrence. Here's one for $500. That's the cheapest I got. Where is it? It's located over a candy store in Coney Island. How many rooms? One large room with a combination sink and bathtub. You have three minutes to make up your mind. Has it got a frigid air? You put your food on the windowsill. But the sun will melt the food. There's no need to worry. The windowsill faces a nice, restful, dark alley. There's no sun. Future albums saw dwindling sales, and after Is That What's Bothering You, Bunky? in 1966, Eddie found himself without a recording contract. But even as his national fame faded, Eddie remained active in the New York City theater scene, as well as performing in clubs and even briefly hosting a children's TV show. In 1994, after 30 years off the national radar, Eddie released a new LP, The Jazzy Old Philosopher on the Red Dragon Jazz label. A mix of old philosopher bits with sketch comedy, the album brought Eddie to the attention of a new generation, and he continued to write and perform until he died in 2014 at the age of 95. You can find out more about Eddie Lawrence and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts, at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody.